hours ahead of her first court hearing in Brussels, Greek MEP Eva Kiley's lawyer has said that she felt betrayed by her partner while maintaining that a client is innocent as per reports. Kylie is due in court later today where it will be decided whether she will remain in jail or be freed with restrictions until a possible trial begins. Kylie is at the centre of a spiralling investigation into an alleged corruption case involving Qatar. The scandal has rocked the European Parliament for weeks. According to media reports, the lawyer said that Kylie will admit to a judicial hearing that she asked her partner to help get rid of the cash allegedly intended to bribe MEPs. Her father was later found by police carrying a suitcase stuffed with money as he was leaving a hotel. Also demand an investigation into other senior European lawmakers whom she accuses of inviting the Emir of Qatar to address Parliament in early next year. Kylie's lawyer met her in prison for hours, after which he said that nothing could be predicted about the hearing. But there are many legal arguments that support his client's release from jail. The former vice president of the European Parliament was arrested by Belgian authorities after a series of raids found €150,000 at her Brussels residence. Allegations that cash and gifts were exchanged for political influence are at the heart of one of the biggest scandals to hit the European Parliament. The scandal has scarred the reputation of the European Union's only institution, compromising officials elected directly by the 27 member countries. Well, for more on this story, we're joined by political analyst Peter Kleppe. Peter, the trial for Eva Kali gets underway today. Are we expecting more skeletons to come tumbling out of the closet, do you think? I think this is not uh, the end of it. Um, we have also seen uh, Morocco being um, accused of, uh, of involvement of similar practices. Um, I mean, frankly, uh, in Brussels, it was a bit of a public secret that things like this uh, are going on. Uh, it's, of course, not easy to prove, uh, but it's good that now the Belgian justice system is taking firm action uh, to sort of uh, try to clean up uh, at, least, at least a little bit of it. I think uh, part of the problem is that, um, you know, if you are a, a member of parliament in one of the national parliaments of the European Union, and suddenly, uh, as for example, a social democrat, you start to, to praise Qatar's, uh, you know, labor uh, system, uh, I don't think it's going to last very long because there's so much scrutiny of the media, of, of, of uh, other politicians, uh, that you can't get away with that. Um, the problem at the European Parliament level is that it, it is a little bit of a bubble in its own. So um, it's sort of, um, you know, it's more, much more vulnerable to this kind of uh, mis misbehavior, uh, if proven, of course. Well, that brings me on to my next question then, Peter. Of course, what, what is the way forward after this scandal? Are checks and controls for members? Do they need to be enhanced? What, what is the solution to stop uh, such scandals as this happening again? Well, you should know that actually there's a lot of controls in the European Parliament in place. Uh, everything is incredibly bureaucratic um, precisely to try to, you know, uh, prevent these kind of uh, things going on. So I'm afraid um, this really goes to the, the roots of the problem, which is that uh, there is not, uh, not no sufficient democratic scrutiny of the European Parliament. True, 
every five years uh, people um, elect uh, MEPs directly, but that is not sufficient to uh, to hold them to account. Um, I think um, you know the, the the original idea of a European Parliament is not bad. You know the idea is look, let's have a, a directly elected assembly assembly uh, to try to keep the the European Union machine in check. Uh, but um, sadly, the European Parliament uh, has not worked like that in, in the decades uh, that it, it has existed. Um, it, um, it always uh, asks uh, the European Commission to spend more, not less. You know, uh, it, it, uh, when it comes to regulation, it always wants to go um, further. It wants a more intrusive uh, regulation. Um, also, uh, regularly, we, we have had scandals like this. We had the cash for law scandals a few years ago. Also, you know, the expenses system of MEPs is still not reformed. You know, they, they get a very fine salary. But on top of that, they get um, more than 4,000 euro per month on their personal bank accounts that uh, they can spend uh, for expenses. Uh, but they, until today, they refuse to disclose uh, how these expenses are being spent, how these taxpayers' funds are being spent. So um, it, that's, of course, not going to bankrupt Europe, but this is sort of evidence of how out of control the institution really well, There's a culture of uh, irresponsibility, really. And then the Qatar scandal is really then, you know, the outcome of all of this. And, and sadly, only the top of the iceberg, uh, I fear.